Welcome back for part two of our trip to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios. In the last episode, we visited Oga's Cantina and walked through the land and got our first impressions. It was truly a sight to be seen. We got to see DJ Rex. Love DJ Rex with his dance move. It was very fun. And the music was actually really catchy. In this episode, though, we're going to ride the attraction that opens up with the land, Smuggler's Run. Enjoy. So first impressions of Oga's. Love it. It was awesome. The drinks were really good. Yes. And uh, DJ Rex was awesome. It was really... <laughs> is that the new dance now? Yeah. The that's, DJ... that's, that's all you're going to see. <laughs> DJ Rex is awesome. And the music was surprisingly entertaining. Fun. It's very fun. Fun yes. music. Fun atmosphere. Fun drinks. Fun drinks. Fun atmosphere. Now, yes. time for more fun. Smugglers run. Smugglers run. Oh, she's running. <laughs> she's running. Run, run, run. And we're back to ride... Smuggler's Run, which is at a 25 minute wait, got Oga's back there, which we just left. A lot of cool noises. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Off to Smuggler's Run, which is about a 25 minute wait. Where's she at? Ultra theming. Checking out the backside of the Falcon. It's so crazy. Wow, the insane amount of detail. It's even lighting up blue like the movies. This is a view I'll never get tired of. So cool. Like even the handrails look like, like the fuel connector hoses. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Looks like they were playing cards. Look at the details. The chips and the noises. Oh look, they're shipping popcorn, the flavored popcorn that they have in the marketplace. It looks like stormtrooper parts. That's pretty insane. There's a droid where they have all the pipes coming out of. What? Oh, I'm so excited. Power. Okay. See it lighten up. Look at it. That's crazy. The tail fin's moving. That is so cool. Crazy detail. I mean, you can literally spend hours just looking at all the little details. And like the way they made the paint, even on the, the arm, or even on the railings, it looks aged. Gives it that rustic look. You got the blaster marks on the side. It's pretty awesome. And the mechanic box. I know I'm just randomly pointing stuff out now, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. It's cool to see like the little sparks popping up. Like I just I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss. Yeah, I, did, I didn't want these circles as much, just because, like, that's on. Yeah. Blue. I mean, we haven't seen this level of theming since Pandora. Yeah, I like the droid down at the bottom. They're using him as a trash can. Aww. Like, something that drew, drew my attention is how they made this look. Like, it's dripping. That is cool. It looks like it's wet. And you get a nice photogenic view of the Millennium Falcon. This is probably the, one of the coolest views. And look at all the cool, cool oil drips. That's pretty neat. They did a great job making it look dirty. It's incredible. Oily and dirty. 
Definitely looks like a mechanic shop. It's ridiculous. Now we're going to see the pre-show. Look at this. waiting area. How crazy is that? This is nuts. By the way, I am a gunner, which means I tap the square buttons to fire blasters. I tap the round button to fire missiles. That's crazy. Quite a bit. Have you flown before? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, this just gets <laughs> Alright. Off we go. On the Millennium Falcon. How nuts. gonna be my missile or no that's the missile oh boy here we go here we go <laughs> there's Jen push the flashing button to take off
Got him. <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> 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 Some sparks. We broke the ship. We broke the Falcon. I just pressed the button. Oh no. Well, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. Your accuracy was better than mine, though. What was yours? 31%. Oh, I had 32%. Yeah, you beat me. I just held the button down. Oh, I was like, my arm hurts. It's a very cool exit. Another water fountain. It is cool looking though. It's very themed. Hey Jen, there's talk that this is the foot of Anubis from the great movie ride. What? Yeah, that was talked about. It's possible. I'm, I'm not sure if it. That's the foot from Anubis from the great movie ride. They were talking about that. I don't know if it's true or not, but. I, I believe it. It's about the same size. All right, now we're going into Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. Ooh. That's kind of fun. There's General Grievous, his mask. And this is all the First Order stuff, Imperial Officer rank badges. It's a Bluetooth. Oh, that's kind of fun. Look at this, a thermos. That's kind of cool. It's neat. It's an Imperial identification card. Why does Doc Ondar have those? Darth Vader's castle? I didn't realize he had a castle. Very cool interior. This is another one of those shops. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Little creatures in there. Oh, that is trippy. That is weird. You could have a Leia dress. Jen. 
Do you want the lay address? Um, do you know how messy of a eater I am? Oh, that's true. No. Yeah, that's a no. Crimson Dawn Half Insignia Necklace. Um, what is that? It says it's a royalty wig. Is that her? I don't know. Let's see. It doesn't open. It's so oh. oh, it is? Yeah. That's the royalty wig up there. Look at that. This. Oh, he's moving. That's cool. Hey, Jen, do you know what that is up there? The Yeti. No, it's a Wampa. It's kind of like a Yeti. Do you know why his mouth is red? Yeah, the beneath his mouth. No, I don't. He eats stuff and blood gets everywhere. Oh, like the Yeti? Yeah. He's the coolest animatronic. So you might remember in the Return of the Jedi, where everyone kept getting eaten in that hole. Have you ever wondered what it looked like down beneath? That's what it looks like. Oh, you could like see into his guts. That is creepy. Is that his time? Yeah. Do you remember watching Return of the Jedi? Do you remember when they all got sucked into the hole and were eaten? And the little tentacles came up and grabbed people and sucked them in? No? Man, you need to brush up on your Star Wars. <laughs> you like that? It's a Jedi Temple book. It is like, cool. I like the cover. Like, I like the, the binding. Yeah. It's like wood. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Wood, but I don't know. I kind of like this mask. It's a Jedi Temple Guard mask. Why are they so braids? The braids? Because if you're a Jedi, here's the nerd moment. Jedi. I mean, this whole thing has a bit of nerd. In training, has a braid. So that's if you're in training. Ten bucks. Jedi braid. Wait, I have a braid on today. So that means you're a Jedi in training. <laughs> I love the detail on this. Like, look at that. It's like everything. <laughs> that is cool. It's all the creatures. Jedi. Wow. Well, Doc Ondar's is pretty cool, I have to say. Yeah, there's lots to look at. Yeah, there is. All right, you want to go check out some of the uh, stuffed animals in the marketplace? And food? Oh, yes, we got to try uh, Ronto's Roasters, which is right there. Want to try it? Yeah. Let's do it. So that ends part two of our trip to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We got to ride Smuggler's Run. We got to play the Gunners on the Millennium Falcon. How cool is that? I hear that the pilot is a really fun position, so we might have to go back and give that another shot at some point. We also got to go to Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities afterwards, which was truly a sight to be seen. Doc Ondar animatronic? Holy cow! How cool was that? He stood up, he sat down, he mumbled, he grumbled. It was really cool. In the next episode, we're going to visit some of the food options in the land and some of the merchandise stalls, where I actually get to build my very own droid. Boy, was that an experience. You do not want to miss that. If you like the video, be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy the video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. It lets you know right away when we post videos on Monday and Friday. That way you don't miss a single beat. If you have any comments, be sure to put them down below. And until next time, see you real soon.